Hi all, thanks for watching. Um, I'm here today to do graphics for free. And I do it because I love it. And I've got a lot of experience in um, fixing issues with photographs and design work in general, color problems, um, path problems, anything you've got. So uh, what I want to do is I want to do this image. I want to make this image nice. Uh, you can see the problem it has at the moment is it's got a moray. Now, a moray, it comes from the French, it means something like linen or mesh or something. Anyway, it's the effect that you get when you have a halftone screen. And your image contains a halftone screen because it's come from a newspaper or something like that, or a magazine. And they use these halftone dots, which you've probably heard of, but may not ever had to deal with in a graphics situation. So the printing press only has black ink or no ink. So it changes to greys by having smaller dots of black ink. Simple as that. If you're rotating this or if you're scanning it or if you're putting it in a, in a printed document, you're going to have problems. You're going to get these patterns like this. Well, that shows it best. Uh, this one's obviously got some, it's not been laid flat anyway, so it's got this wavy appearance. But anyway, it's a real easy one to fix if you just know a couple of little things that I'm going to share with you. So what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to increase the resolution. Um, images like this, they're usually pretty small. This one's not too bad. It's 2,000 pixels, almost 10 meg. But just to make a bit, just to get a bit more control, I want to upsample it a bit. So I'm going to change it to 144 dpi. I'm going to resample um, by default Photoshop will say automatic resample that's fine it doesn't make that much difference to use different methods but you can sure try them out and see what works best for your particular challenge so this guy yeah all his lovely detail is all lost in the dots but we can get it back very easily so up here in filters we go down to noise and in noise, you've got add noise, despeckle, dust and scratch with medium, reduce noise, etc. Now, the one we like here is medium. Medium just means it averages out the pixels over a certain size, a certain area. And you can see an immediate improvement here. So, just tweaking the radius and looking at the preview on screen, we can see exactly what it's going to do for our guy. Look at that massive change. It's amazing how much detail comes out when it's completely lost in the dots. You look at his eye and it's just like a handful of dots. No problem, we've got an eyeball. You can, um, you can see the detail of the eye, it's lovely. Okay, so we commit that change, job done. So as simple as that. Um, you go from having a guy that's all full of dots to a guy that's not all full of dots. Now you can see that he seems to get a bit blurrier, but I think that's a pretty small price to pay when you can improve the overall look that much. And when it comes to printing, you can zoom in, zoom out. You're not going to get that moray happening. And... Um, I think it's just well worth it and for only 30 seconds job done so there's a tip for you and if you were the person that sent me this image you got an image there fixed for free i'm going to email it back to you so if you've got a request for an image for yourself or you've got a question regarding printing file conversions anything to do with um, adobe illustrator adobe photoshop indesign any issues like that, send them in. I'll do them online for free. I'll fix it up. I'll give you some advice. I'll give you a file back fixed and ready to go. All I ask is that you just um, share me on your socials. Just uh, this uh, YouTube channel and the email address above. Subscribe for more, for more tips. And I'm going to be adding a lot of these little uh, quick tips. And I'm going to be doing some live work online that you can um, watch and hopefully enjoy. Thanks for watching.